Welcome to Tinks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional women. So it's my last meeting today, with respect to recording time of 4.51 p.m. on the Eastern Time, in the country $2,829, up about 0.09% so far. With respect to the crypto market and the equity market, we are closing on a relatively flat note all over again. Uh, we had a rel- relatively volatile day, right? We had a slight dip in the early morning uh, as the market opened, and subsequently reversed back up. So it was like a 15 minutes of a sell-off, and the, the sell-off was relatively like a 1.5% across all the indexes, and subsequently reversed back up. So it was a, it was a little weird, to be honest with you, uh, but collectively we are ending on uh, more of an optimistic note, if you may, on the equity side specifically. And if you look into a lot of these small cap high growth stocks as well, we have surged up quite um, nicely across the board, and also of the Chinese stocks as well. Uh, if you look at Baba, up about, I would say, how much did we go up today? We went up to be above $101, so up about 4.24%, ending in the aftermarket hours, 0.49% as well. And also, with respect to Neo, also up about 5% uh, in the aftermarket hours, selling off back a little bit, but still, you know, levitating around a relatively healthy level. Um, and also with respect to Tesla, also closing above $900 again, which is, if you look at the technical, it is the next level of su- substantiveness if you follow on our Patreon updates. So, seems like today was a kind of a psychological roller coaster again. Uh, and with respect to Ethereum, I would say similar affectation, right? We were levitating around like the 2800 and the 27 50 which was like a, again a flat number that doesn't really you know it's not a consolidated level it's just a level that we have a propensity to glide down to and also people buy up at that level because it's an easy number to look at uh but in terms of where are we right now we are 25 dollars below 2850 so technically we are you know if you're below it i would say we have a high propensity to go you know down to the 2800 um, and I think with respect to the current setup right now, what's the propensity of us going up or going down? Um, you know, it's a little worrisome that today was a green day, right? Um, because of the fact that, well, despite today is the first trading day on in a new month in May, um, but the media affectation today has, uh, you know, curated some sort of optimism despite nothing confirmatory has came out yet right we have not heard from jerome there was no press release that came out that's anything different we are just psychologically gauging uh based on the media affectation which without any you know strong substantive evidentiary support um it conveys a false signal if you may right so if today is a green day technically tomorrow the propensity of actually going down in the first half of it um, especially, you know, this, I think the meeting will durate from Tuesday all the way to Wednesday. But in terms of, it, are we going to hear anything from Jerome tomorrow? No, I think we will hear something more official and confirmed uh, by Wednesday. So technically, we still have like 48 hours or 36 hours, um, depending on how you look at it, um, onto the market try to price in the price level that we're at right now. Right, so um, it's a little worrisome that we're up today uh, because of the fact that um, we are expecting, you know, sell down or like the sell the rumor by the news affectation. And um, you could probably say that we sold most of it last week, try to adjust for that price level ahead of time. But um, it's a little weird, like just that's just like some abnormality in terms of the human psychology that we're seeing in the market today. Uh, but ultimately, with respect to technical, um, I think the propensity of as we get the confirmatory signal that, you know, if we hear from Jerome that it will be um, a lower than expected rate height, uh, we will convey into a buying pressure. And we will only sell down further back, you know, to more of a correctionary um, environment if we hear something even most severely negative than what we have been hearing so far, right? Shifting from 50 basis point, which is something that he he has mentioned earlier, but that's not unconfirmatory yet, right? But if he say something around the line that we're going to shift that up to 75 basis point or even more, um, that can be a a huge alarming signal onto driving the market to sell down even further. 
But collectively today is a relatively flat day, not really doing much. So if that wasting more time, let's just dive into technicals. So right now, with respect to recording time, approximately 5 p.m. on the Eastern time, we are below the 2A50. Um, at the same time, we are, for, you know, with the W shape. So technically, we are just consolidating on a sideways fashion, trading on a sideways fashion, not really doing much. Um, and with respect to the trend line for the MACD, we are also... You know, trade, you know, trending accordingly, right? Not really doing anything, which makes sense, right? Because 2850 is a relatively substantive consolidate level. So magnetically, we are just kind of gluing around that level. Respect to Bitcoin flat as well, gluing around the same level right now with the 41F70 still curving up a little bit on the MACD front. So again, tomorrow, as we hear more confirmatory signal from Jerome in the next two days, if it's anything that is aligned with what we've been expecting, or a little bit better, it should technically drive an upward surge, right? But again, with respect to what concerns me a little bit is because we are green today when nothing really confirmed has happened yet. Um, you know, so it's a little funky across the spectrum. And um, you could say that it's probably because the interest rates had, you know, it has reached almost 3% earlier this morning, like at the 29 three right 2.93 ish and it kind of subsequently come back down that could be one of the reason but uh but the 15 minute surge 15 minute pump that doesn't really convey a lot of confidence on like, that seems like there's some manipulations going on into the market so um so I, i'm not so sure but you know also today ending on a green note that doesn't also uh give me a lot of confidence either because these are false signal indicating um that this could potentially be just like a bull trap um you know in terms of luring investors to think that the bottom is in the bottom is in but nothing confirmed has happened yet so um i think today the sell-off would have been more logical but i think the whales might be behind the scenes try to triangulate something that we you know we don't have full clarity on right in respect to Ethereum Classic with the two seven twenty seven dollars right now, I like anywhere from current level down is still fair game to DCA. Dogecoin anywhere from twelve cents below will be logical DCA at the forty five out of seventy again, right? Cardano anywhere from current level down is logical with the thirty two out of seventy right now. Solana down about three percent, eighty five to seventy five below is logical DCA, right? XRP is at sixty cents right now, anywhere from sixty nine to fifty seven is logical to DCA. Polkadot is down about 3%. Anywhere from current level down is still logical DCA. I think anything that we are at right now is across the board a buy at the moment. With respect to Algorand's about 1%. Yeah, same thing. Any Anything below 60 cents is still logical DCA. Shiba Inu, again, right? 2100, 1400 to 900. Those are frames that will DCA. With respect to Polygon, uh, down about 3.5%. Um, Anywhere around one dollar would be a fair game, right? With the twenty nine of seventy right now, so um, it is quite oversold. But uh, if we break this, you know, the one dollar mark, we have a long way to go. I think it's somewhere around like the seventy five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, somewhere around yeah, exactly seventy five, and subsequently to the next level of sixty five. So long leaps to go down to. And then with respect to AVAX, uh, 59 to 50, right? Which we are technically at the level of consolidation right now, but anywhere from below is still fair game. With respect to Terra, flat as well, right? If we break 75, we have a long way to go, right? 62, 52 to 45. And just to give you a little bit of a brownie point, let's just take a look at Tesla as well. We are back into the consolidated level based on the, the, the frames, right? You could see that... This is not magic, right? This is just technical speaking the truth. We leap down to a consolidated level of 850, coming back down to coming back up to 900, and you can see that clearly we tried to flash crash down to 820 and immediately got bought up. Um, so right now, is it reversing? Yeah, I would say so. We were bouncing from the 36 out of 70. So Tesla, you know, for those that actually bought in around 850, was the dip, right? Neo is still bullish, I would say. We are forming that reverse head and shoulders. This is a head, shoulder, shoulder. Uh, right now, about to form a golden cross. So I think Neo, um, as we get that confirmatory signal, as we get here the rotation, and I do also know that Neo, the uh, earnings is coming out as well shortly. So um, I think Neo is a, is definitely a buy right now. It looks quite interesting. 
With respect to Coinbase, uh, rock bottom at 110. I mean, it's a falling knife. Obviously, it's been selling off ever since it began, right? IPO at 429 bananas, right? <laughs> We're back to 110 right now. Um, it is what it is, right? It's, t it's a tech company at the same time with, you know, uh, more competition that's cultivating in the crypto trading ecosystem. Also, with respect to volatility in crypto, especially with that direct correlation, doesn't convey a lot of confidence, right? Respect to Baba, um, it's also selling down, but you can see that we also have kind of like a pseudo head and shoulder pattern, a reverse one, head, shoulder, and shoulder. So I, but I think Baba is quite interesting as well. Um, so I do like it long term. I do have a lot of Baba, as you know. Um, so, you know, across the board, I would say the tech stocks are highly oversold. If you pull them long term, I think it's a relatively no brainer, anyways. All right, so for the next. 36 to 48 hours it's gonna be a weird interesting one today was a weird one obviously because of the green pressure across the board be, you know despite lack of media um confirmatory signal right so definitely be cautious use your spidey sense right uh but um let's you know focus stay focused and you know focus on the long term and hold on hold on if you don't have any cash reserve on the side but don't sell if you are down right now because these are definitely not the time to be selling on a loss right so appreciate you have a good rest of the monday and i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye